was, was very right, I think, when he said, you know, don't, uh, this is still pretty niche, still a relatively uh, small proportion of people who are kind of uh, participating in this. Probably disproportionately influential, I would say, which is important, but, you know, don't, don't neglect the tried and tested, the stuff that's been working well, discard the stuff that doesn't work. Um, but, you know, don't, don't neglect the majority. Um, Accessibility, we haven't really talked about that much today, but, but Howard again raised it in his session at the end. Um, I, I, it still is a bit of an issue, I think. I'm, I'm not really terribly au fait with all that myself with social media and accessibility. Probably what I would say is, as, as from, from this sector, as, as charities, ask questions of all of us, everyone, you know, keep, keep raising that as an issue. You know, are, the, are these new tools accessible? I think there needs to be a lot more discussion about those kind of issues. A lot about getting it right, I think, is about tone and posture. Uh, it's, it's almost about un having to unlearn some of the things we, we probably could do really well when we were young, but as we, we join organisations and we get caught up, as I said before, in, in process and we've always done it this way kind of mentality. So we, we have to unlearn some stuff to make our organisations uh, more conversational, really. Change the vocabulary, change, change the, the words. Uh, Chris talked a lot about that, that language. Uh, I think a lot of us have said, you know, um, start by listening. Incredibly important. Don't just kind of dive in. Uh, really like what Jackie said about that analogy of the living room. Imagine yourself going into uh, someone's living room. The first thing you say wouldn't be it wouldn't be a, the ask. And one of the things that Beth said, uh, I think she's I picked this up on one of the one of the tweets was crawl before you can fly, listen, and find influences before asking. Uh, I'll say that again: crawl before you can fly, listen, and find influences before asking. Chris again mentioned, you know, influences. Find, find, ask questions of your supporters. You know, where are you active? You know, uh, uh, which social networks and communities are you, are you um, do you have a presence in, uh, and where they might be uh, influencers. Size no longer matters as much as being able to demonstrate impact. Uh, and we've we've talked think, about the ability for really small charities, really small charities, even to punch above their weight. <laughs> some of these new, new tools, and we looked at the RNID impact report as a, as a really good thing to go and have a nose around and see if you can replicate that and take the good bits uh, for your own organisation. A lot about storytelling, as Howard rightly projected at the beginning. Uh, save the fluff for the annual report. Um, turn your work into a never-ending story. I'll try, try and do that. Social media is a, is a platform for participation and platform more than anything for, for storytelling. <coughs> we need to find new ways of looking at, uh, at charity and giving, per se, I'd say. Um, look at it more as an enriching sort of personal experience for people, um, and not, not to look at giving as a kind of just a uh, sort of one-off or, or series of transactions. 